What's up, bros, and welcome to part 11 of my LEGO Marvel Zombies Survivor series. Now today I'm going to be showing some more Marvel Zombies Survivor customs that I've made, so let's get down to business. Now for the first custom in today's video, we have Bullseye. Now, the legs of this custom minifigure are from an Imperial Patrol Trooper from Star Wars. We're going to attach this black belt piece to the legs. Then we're going to take this newer Ghost Rider minifigure torso piece and attach that to the legs. Except the torso is reversed and we also have some black arms and some white hands. Then. We're going to take this random black armor piece and attach it to the torso. We're going to take this Luke Skywalker training headpiece and attach it to the torso. And then for the last piece, we're going to take this black Cole ZX ninja headpiece from the first season of Ninjago. And then we have the completed Bullseye costume. Now, recently I finished watching Season 3 of Daredevil, which was life-changing, it was a peak experience, so that's why I decided to base my version of Bullseye for my Marvel Zombies universe off of the Bullseye from the MCU or the Netflix show. So, this Bullseye is Poindexter, that's his uh, last name I think, I don't remember his first name, but it's that version of Bullseye, and that's him unmasked as you can see here, so in this universe, he's a survivor, not a zombie. But um, yeah, that's basically it for this custom. Now for the second custom in today's video, we have Rogue. Now the legs of this custom minifigure are from a Ninjago Evo Lloyd minifigure. The torso we're going to be using is from Star Wars, I believe the Freemaker Adventures. Then, we're going to attach some dual molded green and yellow arms to the torso. And we also have some brown hands attached to match the brown on the torso. Then we're going to take this headpiece which is from LEGO Dimensions, I just don't know which minifigure. Then, we're going to take this uh, Harry Potter hairpiece, it's definitely from Harry Potter. Pop that onto the head and then we have the completed robe costume. Now, this rogue custom could honestly pass as just like a normal rogue custom, but I decided to use this for my Marvel Zombies universe, and in this universe, rogue is, as you can see here, clearly a survivor. But um, yeah, that's basically it for this custom. Now, for the third custom in today's video, we have Gambit. Now, the legs of this custom minifigure are from a Doctor Strange minifigure. The torso we're going to be using is from a Death Watch Mandalorian minifigure from Star Wars The Clone Wars. Except we also have some brown arms and some dark blue hands. Then, we're going to take this brown K piece, which is from a Mandalorian from the second Mandalorian battle pack. Then, we're going to take this Django Fett or Boba Fett headpiece from Star Wars and attach it to the torso. Then, we're going to take this random brown long hair piece and attach it to the head. And then we have the completed Gambit custom, which uses like three different Mandalorian Star Wars parts for some reason. For Gambit's accessories, we have his retractable staff right here. It's a very simple build, as you can see here. But anyway, that's basically it for this custom. Now for the fourth custom in today's video, we have Hellcat. Now the legs of this custom minifigure are some dual molded yellow and black legs, except this upper piece is from a cheetah minifigure from the DC CMF series. Then, we're going to attach this yellow Batman belt piece to the legs. Then we're going to attach this cheetah minifigure torso piece. Except the arms are just some black arms and we also have some yellow hands. 
Then we're gonna take this Captain Carter headpiece from the Marvel CMF Series 1. We're gonna attach this black ninja hood piece, pop that onto the torso. Then for the last piece, we're gonna attach this Batgirl cowl slash hair piece, pop that onto the head, and then we have the completed Hellcat costume. Now, one main issue with this custom is the fact that the Batgirl cowl and the black ninja hood piece aren't exactly compatible as you can see here. The cowl just falls off, but one thing that can fix this issue is if we levitate the head a little bit and lower the ninja mask a little bit. Then we can reattach the Batgirl cowl, push that all the way down, and then as you can see here, that actually does work as you can see here, so that's an easy fix to make this custom much better and so now it doesn't have any flaws or anything. But yeah, this is basically a zombie survivor Hellcat custom. Hellcat is pretty underrated but she's an interesting Marvel character. But um, yeah, that's basically it for this custom. Now for the fifth and last custom in today's video, we have Claw. Now, the legs of this ghost or minifigure are just some red robot legs. We're gonna attach this purple Catwoman belt piece to the legs. Then we're gonna take this Magneto torso piece from the old X-Men sets. We also have this black cyborg arm and this silver arm with a purple hand. Then we're gonna attach this purple armor piece to the torso as well. Then we're gonna take this Sith Jet Trooper jetpack piece and attach that to the back of the torso and it fits perfectly on the torso even though this torso also has the purple Catwoman belt piece attached. Then we're going to take this calculator headpiece from the Lego Batman movie minifigure series blind bags. We're going to take this Hugo Strange facial hair piece also from the Lego Batman movie, pop that onto the torso and then we have the completed claw custom. Now for claw's accessories, we just have this chainsaw that can come out of his robot arm, which is useful for chopping down zombies. Now in my Marvel Zombies universe, claw was never killed by Killmonger, so in this universe, he was alive and he's now a survivor. He's been eaten by zombies many times, so he had to like cut off his body parts and replace them with like cybernetic parts, so he's more machine than man. But um, yeah, that's basically it for this costume. But anyway, that's basically it for this video. I hope you bros enjoyed part 11 of my LEGO Marvel Zombie Survivor series. As requested, I'm continuing to milk this series for the views and the money. I mean the viewers, of course. But anyway, I just realized Bullseye kind of looks like a Power Ranger, but other than that, I think these customs get the job done. But my opinion doesn't matter, yours does. So tell me in the comments below what your thoughts are on these customs. But anyway, feel free to check out my other videos. I mostly make custom minifigures. Have a great day. See ya, bros.